Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we're here. This is going to be the 10th week of the UBL Season 6, and this is actually going to be Round 1 of the playoffs. It was a really fun season, but pretty much every week mattered, and we will be playing Gravy, the coach of the Vancouver Titans. He has a really, really scary team that was drafted by Vepsis. He took over the team, and he's been re doing really, really well with it. I believe he's 4-1 since he took it over. It's just going to be a really, really tough game, but we did what we could. We're going to be here, and I just want to get right into team preview. There's just so many, so many things to look out for. But we will see the Talonflame, Gudra, Verizian, Drapian, Landorus, and Vicovol. So right off the bat, no Slowbro. No Slowbro is very interesting. No Porygon. Wow, no Porygon. Wow, no Porygon. No Regiseal is moderately expected. No Goldurk is pretty is pretty neat. But no Porygon and no Slowbro. No Slowbro is more is moderately expected. But Verizian over Porygon is wild to me. I don't a hundred percent know what to make of that yet. But we're here, we're here, we're here. I do think that Rabombi is a solid lead. I also think Victini is a pretty solid lead here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Rabombi. We're gonna go for it. Um, yeah, this is overall a really interesting matchup here. I still don't quite know what to make of it. Um, now, it, now in a mock, I I did lead off with a Rabombi, and. It did kind of just get okayed by a by a scarf landers. I really doubt a scarf landers would lead here. But that said, oh, and and another fun fact, I actually did a mock for this. Um, I almost never do mocks. I've done like a handful of mocks in my life, but this comes out. This comes out in the lead. Um, I think I think Rotom always just switches in here, like every time, and I want to click reasonably quickly. I want to kind of make decisions reasonably quickly. But, yeah, leading off with the Talon Flame is very interesting. Leads off with the Toxic. That's totally fine. Um, could go into Landers. Now, normally I would just click Volt Switch, but I think in this scenario specifically, I just click Hydro Pump. Now, the Verizian could come in. The Verizian could actually come in, which would be kind of wild. It would be unironically kind of wild. I could also Toxic. Yeah, Toxic also just feels really strong here. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it. it. Only because it occurs to me now that the Verizon could honestly just be like a like an anti-Rotom Mon. It could just be like moderately specially defensive um, and just enough like to deal with my Rotom to make it not as much of an issue because with the Rotom out of the way, it opens up his Town Flame a whole ton, uh, much in the same way that much in the same way that my Victini gets opened up a ton if the Gudra goes down. And so I would not be surprised to see that kind of a that kind of a set does withdraw um, to let me get a toxic off on something here goes into the Gudra. Now the Gudra is something that I definitely wanted to be toxic reasonably early. I, I could have clicked Volt Switch. It could have kind of gotten me a little bit of extra momentum here. But uh, as far as things go, I think I'm moderately fine with this. Um, but what would I want to go into here? I could. Uh, I don't want to use up this Porygon too, too early or, or let it get worn down too, too early. Um, I think I'm fine to Volt Switch as well. I'm going to get up um, my Calcs here. I don't want to take up too much time either. This thing being toxic is pretty strong for me. Could I just go into this? I mean, this is this is really going to be good for my... Good for the Landorus, maybe? And maybe the maybe the Vic Vault as well. But I think, I think I'm okay to kind of burn my cryogonal kind of I'm getting a feel for how he put together this team and I'll be able to kind of um figure some things out I'll be able to fi I'll be able to figure some things out um now honestly I could have I could have been faster I'm not I'm not sure but it, it, it wasn't it didn't really feel worth the risk I was gonna say this thing could also very well be physical but it is special with focus blast uh now we are really specially defensive we do eat up one hit but I don't think I need this for a whole for a whole ton here. So even just wearing this thing down, but he really has no he really has no switches in to this thing. Um, and especially now I can't even really recover here. Um, I didn't see any item. I could just click knockoff here, but I think freeze dry damage makes a ton of sense here. Yeah, I'm just gonna click freeze dry. I think it's ultimately fine. Like I said, this cryogonal is, is a little bit expendable here. Um, and it'll set me up. That's a decent amount of damage. That was a crit. Okay, that's pretty. It's pretty not ideal. But he is landing focus blast. I don't know what to make of that either. 
so let's see. Let's see. Gudra. A Gudra with Focus Blast. A Gudra with Focus Blast. Yeah, that's about that's that's honestly about right for Specs damage. That could that thing could could have honestly been Specs, and that's scary to me. That is very scary to me. I could get a Brox right now. I could get a Brox right now, and just give this thing up. Well, well th this thing could be important for the um, for the Drapion. So I wouldn't want this thing to get too too worn down. Um, we do take a Focus Blast. I could get a blue flare off. It should do. I mean, I have to imagine it does. Uh, I think. I think we're forced to go into this, and it's not ideal. But uh, actually, Moonblast hits the entire team, so I think it's okay. Moonblast hits the entire team, so I think it's okay. I could also just click U-turn. I don't think this thing is worth saving even a little bit. Yeah, I think he just lets this thing go down. Um, and that just opens up the door for my Victini so much here. I think maybe the better play might have been to give up my, my Sand Slash, but my Sand Slash could be insane if, if, um, if it prevents the Drapion from just, like, tearing through my team. But it really doesn't switch into Rabombi terribly well. Does withdraw. Okay, okay, okay. Goes back into the Town Flame. Goes back into the Town Flame. And I would love to see this damage. Uh, does get the special attack drop as well. That's about 40-ish percent. Which is right in line for a no bulk talent flame. Which is fine, because this Rotom, I mean, this Rotom is always here for this thing. I think I still have set roles for all of my mods, and it, and it, and it feels good in this situation to kind of be in that position. I think I'm, I think I'm doing okay here. Because um, having the Kudra so weakened so early on is fantastic. Um, I do withdraw. I, I wouldn't be surprised to just see like a pretty easy U-turn. But even then, his U-turn targets aren't great. Obviously, there's the Brizian, but I don't think that's the worst case scenario here. Does roost up, which is fine. I think it's, I think that's fine. And now I definitely just Volt Switch because at this point, if the if the Landorus does want to come in, I just don't think I mind too too much. And I think I just go off of. However, this wants to play out here. I think I just go off of whatever. However, this wants to play out here. Is it also tell me before the match started that apparently one nickname he's I'm gonna find very very funny. I've only seen two nicknames I believe. Uh, just go for the U-turn. That's totally fine. Um, could be going into the Landers for sure, for sure. Um, but if he does, I'm not the most concerned. He could be going into the Verzian. Well, no, if, he could go into Landers and, go, and then double into the Verzian, which would on, obviously be not great. Um, it could prompt me to click Toxic in, in front of the Landorus, um, and wear down the, the Verzian a little bit faster. But, again, at the moment, I think I just take this one turn at a time and just not try to... Oh, that's why. Because, because um, before this match, we literally just played... We literally just played a a a TBL match with my partner Vivid, and he named my our Magneton um, Voltamort, and now seeing him here with the same nickname is kind of funny. Now I was running some pregame calcs. Yeah, Victini destroys this and truthfully Victini destroys anything that wants to that wants to come in he could he might have been assuming that I would click volts or maybe just assuming that I would click toxic and and thinking he had a free turn to to um to click sticky web here but I think he just has to sack the Gudra here I just don't think giving up that much damage on any mo on any mon on his team is really advantageous here even max special defense um, does, doesn't really take this. Oh, I turned off. Yeah, I should have this on. Um, is that right around 85%? And it looks like I should be taking anything. Uh, probably just gives the Gudra. No, goes into this thing. Okay. 
Now he could toxic me, right? I I, I think he saw to yeah, he toxic my my Rotom earlier. Um But with this thing being kind of no bulk as it is, I think I just click Thunderbolt and we just try to make some damage happen here. And if the I mean if this talent flame goes down, that would just be nuts. This thing could be like a like a bulk up um like a bulk up anti anti V create set. Uh that'd be pretty interesting. But end of the day, I think we're fine here. He could now. Now, obviously, I don't get any super effective damage off on this anymore. But if he just tries to click toxic on me, um, I can click toxic on it, and I can kind of make some things kind of happen momentum-wise. And probably, if anything, maybe just assume that I would want to go into my my um, my Rotom here, and, and assuming that a that a Roost would be really really free i don't think this town flame has a whole ton to hit me with it, yeah except for toxic which i think is totally fair i think if anything now i just click u-turn and probably and potentially just u-turn out into well i think if anything i would want to u-turn out into into my sand slash because my sand slash gives me the best opportunity to get rocks up uh, pretty early on while still leaving me healthy enough to probably at least manage the Drapion somewhat, right? So yeah, I, yeah, I think that's always the play. I think I just Volt Switch, or no, U-Turn out into the Sand Slash here. Um, I think he clicks Roost every time as, because obviously Blue Flare is resisted and Thunderbolt is no longer super effective. So I think he just gets up healthy again every time. Um, if he does switch out, then I get a decent amount of initiative and I get to figure some things out. Um, but yeah, I think this is completely, completely fine. Uh, I'm still down a Mon, which I have to keep in mind, right? Like, like this is still not the best situation to be in, but I think as far as being a Mon down goes, I think we are in as good a position as I think we can be at the moment, you know? I think Victini still puts on so, so much pressure. The Kudra's pretty much down. Everything else just gets slapped around. Oh, it's Rocky Helmet. It gets slapped around by, by uh, Blue Flare. And this thing will absolutely just not appreciate um, me getting up hazards, but this team won't. And we can kind of go on from there. We can kind of go on from there. Uh, this thing could also be defog, right? So, so far we've seen Roost, Toxic. I think we've seen Roost, Toxic, U-Turn, Flare Blitz, potentially? I don't know. Roost, Toxic, U-Turn... Taunt? I don't, I, I don't know. If I get taunted now, that'd be pretty bad. I'm not... I mean, it's not great. But I guess taunt is also best case scenario, because all it does is really waste a turn, and I can kind of make some pivots, make some other things kind of work for me here. Last move could be Defog. Um, he could leave... He could leave the Defogging up to Landorus. That, that could be completely plausible here. Um, but obviously, if Landorus comes in, my my always switch in is going to be the Porygon. Yeah, yeah. So la the final move is Flare Blitz, um, and he is going to get an okay amount of damage on me. But I think getting up rocks is really huge for me. So this thing doesn't have Defog. It could leave Defog to Landorus, but again, once I have these rocks up and once I kind of am, am in a certain rhythm, I think um, I think just having. Just being able to put pressure with the Vikini in particular, but with a lot of my team, is really big for me here. And he's also super low on time, I'm just noticing. Could roost up. Uh, I could super fang just to make sure that that a lot of this damage sticks. But ultimately, I think going out into this thing is probably better. I don't think I need this thing for much. Yeah, yeah, I think this is fine, especially because um, my Sand Slash has a lot of usefulness against the Drapion in particular. Because once I get some damage onto the Drapion, even if I just get a Super Fang off on the Drapion, yeah, it goes for U turn. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. I maybe should have gone for. I, I maybe should have clicked Super Fang in that moment. Um, he could be trying to get Sticky Webs up with with Vicavolt, but not much of my team is sensitive to to, to webs. Um, my Rabombi, I guess, would be the most sensitive to webs. Goes out into this. Okay. 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 I mean, that's definitely not ideal for me. 
But I also don't think it's terrible. I could get Leaf Leaf Bladed, but he's leaving he's giving me Victini. Um He has a Stone Edge, right? He has to click Stone Edge because give, giving me Victini is not great and giving me Robombi is not great. Verizian. I could I, I could just Volt Switch on the on the potential Stone Edge. Because yeah, Stone Age just destroys Verizian. But if I if I pick wrong, yeah, I think I need Rabone be healthy a lot more than I need this thing healthy. So I think I'm, I'm I think I'm okay to give up a little bit of damage onto yeah, just go for the Stone Edge. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was not in a position where I could call that one wrong. That was a crit, which is not ideal, but this thing is life orb. That's very interesting. But it also gives me very very free damage with Spectre Bone Bee. And the Talon Flame, actually no, the, I was gonna say the, the Talon Flame is low enough where it can't really switch in anymore, but the Talon Flame has to come in on rocks now. Uh, so that's never gonna be great for that either. I think he has to give me a Mon here, right? Well, realistically, he just lets the Guja go down. Realistically, he just lets the Guja go down. But giving me a Mon in this scenario is never going to be great for him. But yeah, ultimately, that, that was a play that I had to make because letting my Rabombi go down to a Stone Edge that that possibility was so much better for me than letting my Rotom go down. Or sorry, that situation was so much worse for me than letting my than potentially letting my Rotom go down to a to a um to a leaf bleed. Especially since B can has a lot of re revenging power in his overall matchup. Uh, I would also be curious, so so seeing how defensive that Talonflame is, it also very much leads me to believe that it might not be that fast. He could just be relying on natural speed and maybe doesn't even concern itself with with, with her Bombi speed. Um, but I don't know. That's a tough call to make, I think. If anything, if the Talonflame would come in, well, it wouldn't come in now, but it, but in a, in a scenario where Robombi is, is in against the Talonflame, it could be the case that that I assume that it would that it would click roost and I either attack into it. Um, yeah, I think I think this mod wants a free roost right now. I think this mod wants a free roost right now. I am very fast. I'm I'm I'm, I'm able to outspeed. I believe any non timid or non jolly town flame. Do I make this call here? The Verzian's still there, man. But this thing has to roost because it literally doesn't take another turn. Right? This thing has to has to roost. I think we take the chance. Th this could be the entire season right here. This could be the entire season. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. And... And it's funny because in the final week of the season, I put, you know, so much on on uh, on D-Ray staying in with a Seismitoad, but he's pretty much back to square one. And now I definitely make this play. Now I don't think it's ever worth it for me to to, to, to play that much with, with these kind of situations. Um, and I guess I'll I guess I'll, I'll never know if he was like absolute max speed. Or or, or I might because this thing clicks roost again. Uh, it's, I'm still putting this thing in an awkward position because I don't think it ever leaves this interaction above half, which means it always uh, goes down to rocks, unless unless he's relying on Lando, like, really hard. Um, he might click return. I think either way, I don't know, I'm, I have a chance of taking anything, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, just goes for roost again, that's fine, I think. Does want to stay up healthy, but I think regardless, I I keep this thing under half, which is big. Uh, I think I probably I probably go into this. Uh, I probably go into this. 
I just double back into in, into the Rotom. Or just click Knock Off. Or, or click Super Fang. Because Super Fang... Yeah, actually, Super Fang would mean... Super Fang would mean that... This thing almost always just... Um, just gets worn down to poison. Also, he really can't afford to, to do this for too, too much longer because he is down a decent amount on time. I, I, I've only kind of seen bits here and there, but I think he might be under four minutes at this point, and um, for this kind of game state, it's not the best, I don't think. Let's click U-turn. So he might he, he might just be at 50% plus one, but getting a Super Fang out, out on something is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Could be going out in, into Landers for all I know. Um, could be going out out of Verzian for all I know, really. But Verzian is particularly tough for him because I do I do have sacks, I do have um things that I need. Yeah, I think the only reason he makes that play is because I think he thought that he was at fifty percent plus one. He could he could also not want to go into anything that's weak to Stone Edge. He could assume that I have the Stone Edge and I'm and I'm going to click it here. Um, it could prompt him to go out into no it, no it makes him want to go out into this thing, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, this thing is boots. I will get a Super Fang off. And he could try to get webs up. But again, my team is not that sensitive to webs. I think either way... I think either way, I click Rapid Spin. You could just click Energy Ball. Uh, it, could, it could prompt me to go into B here. It could prompt me to go into B here. I think I just click Rapid Spin. Uh, man, this doesn't feel great. I think... Okay, so I'll be completely honest and say that I think I only click Rapid Spin here because... Um, oh, I'm faster anyway. I think, I, I think I'm only clicking Rapid Spin here because... There's no way he clicks Energy Ball. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Because the timer situation is is what it is. Um. But yeah, I click knockoff. I don't think this KOs, unfortunately. But I think I just have to do this. I don't like what I, I don't like the play that I just made. But I think I just had to make the play. Oh, goes for roost. Okay, okay. Okay, so letting me get a little bit healthier. But the boots are knocked off, which means if I continually super fang into this thing. He will be in a position where he has to. I think he has to click roost again. I think he. I think he wants to click roost again. And actually, let me just see. Vicavolt. Vicavolt against Robombi. Yeah, I have to keep this thing reasonably low. But I think. I should always take a hit from this thing. Unless he just goes for a Roth... Well, no, he has to go for a Roth Thunderbolt in order to KO me. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I think he could Roost, which would be really not good for me. But... Yeah, goes for the Bug Buzz. It does should do about half, but now he's very much in range of just a Specs Moon Blast here. He should be in range of a non-Specs Moon Blast as well. He's down, a two, he's down under two minutes. Which is kind of wild to me. But we will finally be in the lead. We will have a mod advantage for the first time all game, which is pretty nuts. But I think we put ourselves in the best position possible. I think we put ourselves in the best position possible. Um, Drapion can't really come in. Um, Talonflame could come in, which is not great. If the Town Flame comes in, then I have to I have to go into Rotom. I have to. He knows that I have to. He could U-turn. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be a really tough. Goes into the Drapion. Wow. Goes into the Drapion. I think I always just give up this thing here. I think I always just give up this thing. And let me just take a look at something. Drapion. If it's a super fast Drapion. 
Yeah, I think I need... Oh, it's agility. Wow. That's worst case scenario. For sure, for sure. Wow, if I just hit that thing... Yeah, Drapion just drops if I just click Moonblast into it. That is worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that crit mattered, too. No, I don't think it did. I mean, it, I mean, it came close to kind of mattering, maybe. I think I have to do this. I don't take a knockoff, do I? No way. There's no way Victini takes a knockoff. Yeah, no, never. That's pretty bad. With Porygon 2... With Porygon 2... Yeah, we're pretty defensive, so we just have to not get... We just have to not get a uh, crit a couple times in a row. And I think we're okay, question mark? But it's it's really... It's pretty dubious. I think if we break through this thing, I think we might just win here. On the spot, I think. Maybe. It's tough. Swords Dance. Okay. I still think we take plus two most things. Uh, as long as he doesn't crit... This thing could also definitely be adamant, which would be pretty not good for me. We could also freeze. We could also freeze. Uh, there's the Night Slash. And... Oh, that does under half on a crit, too. So, I think, as long as we don't get super mega crit, then... No, we don't have enough damage. We just barely don't have enough damage. This might be how we lose this. Another Swords Dance. Wow. That's tough. That's a really tough one. I don't have any other... I don't, I don't have any more damage to kind of put on this thing. I don't have any more damage I could do. Ugh. I think he did that maybe thinking that I would click recover. But there's nothing left to be done. I, I just think I lose from here. I mean, maybe the only thing that could save me is time. If he doesn't realize that he has 50 seconds left. I I, I know in the past, he has genuinely just not, just not realized that he has 50 seconds left and just um, takes his time. But... Yeah, I just don't think there's anything left I can do. I don't, I, I don't even think this ordering matters here. Because he's double dance. He probably, he's probably just dual stab and just wins from here. Yeah, he definitely knows because he, he went from 50 seconds to 48 seconds. Um, but yeah, I don't have any other... I don't have Rocky Helmet. I, I probably should have been Rocky Helmet. Um, I probably should have been Rocky Helmet. Sand Slash, now, now that I think about it. But... I don't know. I guess my only chance is if he's is is if he's mono dark move. But I just don't think I win. Yeah, yeah, even even uh Night Slash should always KO me at plus two. I mean that's a rough way to to lose. I It doesn't feel great. It definitely doesn't feel great. But I don't think there's anything I could have done. And truthfully, I, I genuinely believe that if I had got been able to get through this Drapion with just a little bit more damage, if I could have just found just a little bit more damage onto this Drapion, I think, if anything, just for Bombi wins outright. But wow. Wow, maybe he was being super cautious in case... In case, um... Victini was, was Cobra or something. But... Yeah, wow. Um I think I I think that was a that was a that was in a completely winnable game. I think that was very, very close. Obviously he had I think kind of the one set that, that I really couldn't deal with terribly well. And 
it sucks. Like, it doesn't feel great. Uh, but I, at the same time, he just brought the one set that he had to, to, to beat me outright, right? There were a couple of unfortunate things, right? Like, like it's not ideal that I, that I crit the Gudra that early. But at the same time, I think he protected his Gudra well enough. And I, and when he did give up the Gudra, he was ultimately a sack. So I really don't think the Gudra was doing a whole heck of a lot for, for the rest of the game. But at the same time, those kind of things do suck i yeah like i said i did what i could here i think i built a team that i had to in this matchup and i don't really think i've ever really had the best answers to to uh to a double dance drapion i really thought that if the drapion did come it was most likely going to be some kind of a sword stand set but that dual that dual uh setup really just bit me and i really could have just attacked the rabombi into the drapion and i just i think win the game outright but it was always going to be a tough one i guess I guess looking back on it, I really had no reason to. My biggest concern was if it was a random Scarf Drapion, but looking back on it, I really didn't have to play that timidly. I could have just attacked into it because if the Drapion goes down, then it doesn't free my Victini up a little bit. My Victini can kind of went out from there. It does have to do some damage against the Landorus, but ultimately I think that's fine. I think just what stunk the most is if I gave up that Rabombi in that situation, then I think the game might have gone down to whether or not that Verizian can hit Stone Edge onto my Victini, but I don't know, man. It's going to be how this week goes. I really thought I had the tools, but I think I just ended up getting a little bit nervous towards the end of the game, but that's going to be for me. Okay. So much watching. We'll be back really, really soon with unfortunately no more weeks of the UBL because uh, this will be the final one. But there will be weeks of the TBL coming up soon. That Those are going to be alternating between Josh and Vivid Colors channels and mine. And uh, we're going to try to do whatever the heck we can. It'll be a really, really fun season. We have a really, really fun team. And with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Gotta be once again out.